In today's video, we are going back to basics. So we're not going to be comparing any skincare products. Instead, today's video would focus primarily on an exfoliating acid, which is pretty popular and you might have also heard it. It's called beta hydroxy acid. However, before we continue with the video, we realize that most of you guys, the ones watching now, are not subscribers to the channel. So if you do not mind smashing the subscribe button, it will help the YouTube algorithm recognize our channel as an educational channel. Great day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to Skin Fix, the channel whereby we educate you everything about skincare. Now, the goal of Skin Fix is so that by the end of this particular video, you have slightly more clarity on a topic that we're speaking about. And the way we present them is using easy language, easy words, and break down those medical jargons so that you and your five-year-old niece can understand. I'm sure a lot of you have walked down the skincare aisle or have gone online through those e-commerce skincare websites and looked for exfoliating acids. And generally, they subdivide it into two parts. One is alpha hydroxy acid, otherwise known as AHA. And the second part is beta hydroxy acid, otherwise known as BHA. Now, they both work as great exfoliators. However, there is a very mild difference between AHA and BHA. So in today's video, we'll be doing a deep dive into beta hydroxy acid. What are the functions? Who is it suitable for? And where can you find the suitable BHA products for your skin? So let's start off with the word BHA. It stands for beta hydroxy acid. Now, chemically, it is roughly the same as alpha hydroxy acid, just missing one carbon chain. However, that one carbon chain actually makes a lot of difference. And unlike AHA, BHA only has a few types. First is propionic acid, but the second one and the most popular and most common BHA used is salicylic acid. So where do we get salicylic acid? is generally an extract from a plant called willow bark. So sometimes when you turn around and look at your skincare ingredients on your skincare bottle, you might not even see the word salicylic acid, but you might see the words willow bark extract. Now they work roughly the same. So what is the main function of beta hydroxy acid and what makes it so special? It has three main functions. The first beta hydroxy acid is a keratolytic agent. This fancy term just means it gets rid of excess keratin on your skin. Now, all of our skin on our epidermal layer consists of a thick layer of keratin. Now, keratin is important. It forms that skin barrier and it makes your skin partially waterproof. However, however there are cases whereby due to an increase in keratin layers on your skin, it might cause your skin to be very rough. And in some cases of chronic overgrowth of keratin, it might lead to a problem called psoriasis. And if you're suffering from acne, one of the ways that the acne bacteria protects itself is to stimulate a little bit more keratin to cover the top layer of your skin so that the bacteria can thrive underneath the skin. The keratolytic effects of beta hydroxy acid makes it a great exfoliator, especially if you're suffering from oily prone skin or acne prone skin. The second function is comedolytic. Now, this fancy term means that it gets rid of comedons. Comedons are both open or closed comedons. Open comedons, sometimes we call it blackheads. Closed comedons, we know it as whiteheads. Now, what makes beta hydroxy acid so potent to removing comedons is because beta hydroxy acid is oil soluble. That means that when you have sebum, which is primarily made of oil, blocked in the pores, beta hydroxy acid is able to bind to the sebum and dissolve the sebum, making it more watery, more fluid, and easier to get rid of. Do you suffer from blackheads and whiteheads? If you do, click the like button below. Now, if we combine the keratolytic effect, whereby we can remove excess keratin, combine it with the oil-soluble effect of the comedolytic, you'll be able to actually exfoliate oily-prone skin much more effectively. That means if you want to get rid of your whites and blackheads, there's no need to go and pinch it, use pore strips, or even go for facial extractions. Just use beta hydroxy acid on a regular basis. Do you know that an overuse of beta hydroxy acid 
can weaken your skin barrier? Let us know in the comments below if this is a new fact to you or not. The third of all, it's antibacterial. Now, due to its low pH, it is able to kill off a lot of bacteria which sits on your skin. That means that beta-hydroxy acid is antibacterial and is able to disinfect part of your skin. Now, however, every skincare ingredient has its downside. Now, one of the downsides of beta-hydroxy acid is even though it's antibacterial, it does not act against the P. acne bacteria which causes your acne. Hence, that's why when you're using a salicylic acid cleanser or toner for your acne, you still need to top it up with an antibacterial like clinomycin. And because beta-hydroxy acid also strips away excess sebum, if you're suffering from dry or sensitive skin, it can actually cause your skin to be over-irritated, it can be over-inflamed, it can be red in nature, and it can be extremely drying. So who should use beta-hydroxy acid on a regular basis? If you're suffering from acne-prone skin or oily skin, you should use beta-hydroxy acid products every day. However, if you only have mild whiteheads, blackheads, and you just want to have a nice, cleaner sensation on your skin, you just want to exfoliate, just use it once or twice a week. However, if you have dry skin or sensitive skin, you should avoid salicylic acid or beta-hydroxy acid totally. Now, you can find beta-hydroxy acid in multiple forms. It can come in a cleanser, come in a toner, in a serum, or a moisturizer. So here, I will teach you how to choose the right beta-hydroxy acid products for your skin. Now, first up, if you have oily skin or acne-prone skin, you should always use a salicylic acid cleanser. Using a salicylic acid cleanser daily, once or twice a day, will be able to unclog those sebum stuck in your skin. Also, if you're suffering from acne, it will also help thin up the keratin layer so that your antibiotics, when you apply on your, on your pimple, it actually gets into the pores much easier. However, if you're not suffering from acne-prone skin and you have more towards a normal combination skin and you just want a cleaner, more exfoliated look, then you should get a salicylic acid toner. Now, generally, most salicylic acid toners have humectants or hydrating factors paired into it so that it does not actually over dry your skin. These exfoliating toners can actually get into your pores and get rid, of, get rid of some of those small whiteheads and blackheads. However, the toner itself is insufficient if you're suffering from active acne. So when should you buy a salicylic acid serum? Salicylic acid serums can be used as spot treatments over areas with active acne, with blackheads or with whiteheads. However, due to its nature and its viscosity, the salicylic acid serums generally tend to absorb much quicker. And because of that, you should always top it up with a moisturizer to prevent over drying of your skin. And the last one is the salicylic acid moisturizer. You should use a salicylic acid based moisturizer only if you have acne prone skin and at the same time, your skin cannot tolerate salicylic acid cleansers. The salicylic acid moisturizer will allow slow absorption of salicylic acid into your skin and at the same time, hydrates your skin to prevent over drying of it. However, if you have sensitive or dry skin, you should avoid any and all of these particular salicylic acid products. Now in this video, I'm going to show you two different products that contain salicylic acid that you might be interested in. Now the first product I'm going to recommend for you is the Benton Aloe BHA Skin Toner. Now this toner is meant to be designed for uh, all skin types, especially if you're suffering from acne prone skin, combination skin, or even up to sensitive skin. Now the reason being that majority of this particular toner, up to 58% contains aloe vera. Now the aloe extract contains not only vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E, it also contains a little bit of fatty acids to help repair the skin barrier. Aloe vera is also an anti-inflammatory and at the same time, anti-irritation for your skin. Now the salicylic acid inside this particular toner is not of a high concentration, it's about 0.5%. Now 0.5% is sufficient to actually get into those clogged pores, especially those with whiteheads and blackheads and helps exfoliate those sebum. You could also use it as an anti-acne treatment whereby you put this particular toner onto a cotton pad and attach it to your active acne for no longer than 15 minutes. These will give time for the salicylic acid to remove the excess keratin layers and to actually get into the clogged pores to get rid of the sebum. This particular toner also consists of beta-glucans. Beta-glucans are sugar extracts that comes from botanical extracts 
or from fungus. Beta-glucan is anti-inflammatory and helps promote collagen production. So this is actually great if you're suffering from acne scars. And as with most Korean products, it also contains snail mucin filtrate. Snail mucin filtrate is antibacterial in nature and it slows down bacterial growth on your skin. Snail mucin also helps hydrate your skin and helps reduce the inflammation on your skin. So overall, if you're suffering from an acne-prone skin or you have mildly sensitive skin but you still want constant exfoliation, you could always use the toner on a daily basis. Now, if you want to get rid of your open pores, looking for a spot treatment for your acne or just want a much more cleaner exfoliated skin, look no further. This is Be The Skin BHA Pore Zero Serum. Now, this particular serum consists of roughly 1% salicylic acid and willow bark extract. A combination of the weaker willow bark extract with the stronger salicylic acid would mean that it does not over dry your skin. Now combine it with a little bit of AHA inside, primarily glycolic acid and citric acid, and you'll be able to actually exfoliate your skin much better. And because most open pores are actually due to clogged sebum under the skin, the salicylic acid will be able to get in, dissolve the sebum, and hence reduce the look of an open pore. The serum also contains Centella Azetica, which is an anti-inflammatory ingredient, and that will be able to soothe your skin, especially after such a strong salicylic acid content. The serum itself also has sebum controlling ingredients, and these are evening primrose, arrowhead extracts, and pine needle extract, which are anti-inflammatory and anti-sebum. So if you have acne-prone skin, you have active acne, this would be a very good serum for your daily use. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Let us know in the comments what other salicylic acid-based product that you are using and would like us to review. And as always, we release new videos on a weekly basis. So if you do not mind turning on the bell button, clicking, clicking the like button, and subscribe to our channel, it will help us tremendously. Until next time, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.